Hello, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to you all over the world. How are you doing? My name is Adebusui Olutayo Olumadewa from Wildlife My Jesus Christ Story. How are you doing today? This is the day, and we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. I'm so happy because we've been joined by a wonderful man of God all the way from South Africa, so a testimony of Jesus Christ, a blessing to the body of Jesus, a blessing to the body of Christ. I'm talking about a wonderful Son of Zion in the prison. Oh, Pierre Van Zyl. How are you, sir? Good afternoon and good evening to you. How are you? <laughs> good afternoon. Um, oh, well, yes, so thanks for that introduction. Eh? Jeez. I've, uh, wow. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Yes, sir. Haven't had that introduction ever. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope I pronounce your name very well. I hope I well, try. Hundred uh, percent. Uh, you do will do much better with mine as what I would have done with yours. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So we we'll go straight to where we are here today. Wildlife around in the name of Jesus Christ. What we do is that we herald the name of Jesus Christ in marketplace for marketplace, leveraging on marketplace principles. We're going to be dealing with the several influences that shapes a nation in terms of family, in terms of economy, in terms of education, in terms of politics, in terms of religion, in terms of entertainment, economy. So basically, we are starting with a story on Jesus Christ. Can you still hear me? Yes, I can. Hello. Can you hear yes, me? Yes, I can hear. Yes, I can. Okay. So, who is Pierre Van Zena? <laughs> who are you? All right, man. I'm Pierre Van Zena. I'm from Port Elizabeth in in the Eastern Cape in South Africa. Uh, 35 years old, married. Uh, two kids uh yeah so that's me in a nutshell i also work in uh, retail logistics uh, as a logistics manager yeah and uh been uh, a christian all my life wow thank you christian mm. all your life i love yes. that part how did you meet jesus christ and how did you become born again Oh, okay. My, I, I grew up in a religious house where, where we had Bible study every day. Uh, we went to church twice a, a sun, on a Sunday as well. And my dad was actually the, the, my dad and my mom were actually the main drivers of the, behind our religion. I mean, uh, they, it's, they are children of God and uh, we just all followed in that suit. But I think as I got older, I think when you're young, you were a bit rebellious. And I think the older I got then uh, family, when I started getting fa well, family, and that's where my, it, my religion got stronger and I uh, actually moved closer to, to God as well. So uh, that's a journey for me. I mean, uh, I had the base all my life with my family. And then obviously as I grew older, I, uh, you, you do it. When you were younger, it was more as a, as because it's the way that that we've been been raised. But as as you grow older, you actually seek something, and you you know you need something in your life, and and there's almost like a like an empty not the emptiness, but there's a gap there that needs filling, and that's where you you actually when you turn to the Bible and and to God, that's where you uh, get that fulfillment, and that's actually where things happen for me is when when I actually got that fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much. So if I'm going to ask you, what's your, dispos what's your view about disposition in Africa generally? This Christianity in Africa. What's your okay. disposition about Christianity in Africa? Well, uh, uh, 
Uh, well, in, in Africa and in the world, I mean, at the moment, I think we, we're missing a mark definitely there. And uh, I think you, you, we moved away from, from uh, and uh, it might sound, sound bad, but I think the majority, we've moved away from Christianity. Not in a, uh, I'm not saying we moved away. I think people just, just forgot about, about our Christianity and about God and uh, I think you can see it in our everyday li- in the everyday lives, the way that society is at the moment. I think you can see that that there is a, there is a missing link, and obviously we know where the missing link is. And I think it's we need to start going back to 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 going to the Bible, to the principles, and and to having God in our lives. I think that is where we all missing a mark, and I think uh, you can see it in in the way things are happening in the world, and even in Africa as well. I mean, if you if you look at a, a country like Rwanda, uh, you see they're prospering. Yes, there's still poverty, but 93% of the of the population is Christian, and you can see the growth they're doing. They're showing in social and and economical uh, uh, basis. So there, there's definitely you where where God is. You can definitely see there's there's something happening. Wow, you said in Rwanda, 93% mm. they are Christians. Yes. And they yes. are prospering, and they are fantastic yes. economists. What do you think led yeah. to that? What do you think led to that? Uh, I think there was also a change in government. I think, uh, and I think the government brought that change as well. Uh, and and that's, I think it's some something. Uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not a politician, but I think it's something that we can actually all look at. In, in we we need to go back to 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 uh, God as as the center of of our decisions as well. I mean, decisions in government, decisions in, in economy, and, and decisions in family life as well. Wow, thank you so much. You, you, you believe so much in Jesus Christ, if I may mm. ask you? Definitely. Yes. Yeah, so, definitely. Um, definitely. Uh, is Jesus Christ real in yes. this world? Yes, he is. He's yeah, real. I, what I, made I, you think he's real? Um, I think you can see in 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 my life as well. I can see. I mean, all uh, I've been blessed my whole life, and I don't. And my family's been blessed, and I, it's not it's not because of we wonderful people. I, I, and it's all it's all just blessings. And I think uh, that blessings must come from somewhere. And uh, I truly believe that that it is it comes from God. Wow. You believe it comes from God. So yeah. what efficacy what efficacy of Jesus Christ would you like to share in terms of your faith, in terms of your family, in terms of finance? What would you well, like to say about Jesus Christ? Well, I can, I can tell you that, that uh, everything that, that me and my family uh, achieved, um, uh, not achieved, uh, but was just a blessing from from God. I mean, I, there's no way that I would have, my family would have been in the situation or in, in in the place that we are at the moment without having God in our life. And uh, also, I've, I've also been very blessed that we there's never been that hardship in in our lives. And I think that is that is because of our faith. And I, I, I truly believe that's because of God's work. It's not just our own our own uh, power, uh, there must be something greater than, than ourselves. Oh, thank you so much. That now leads me to the next question. Do you have a dynamic testimony about that you can say this is the end work of Jesus Christ that you think you can share with the whole world? It won't think that you say, no, this is Jesus Christ at work. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's for me. It's 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 every day. I mean, the the fact that wow. that that I wake up in the morning and the fact the fact that uh, my family is healthy. Those are all. It's it's not because of us. And also in 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 the time that we are at the moment. I mean, with the with the coronavirus and and those type of things, my family has been blessed. And that is not because we sanitized, only sanitized the whole time. It's because we truly blessed and we are truly looked after by somebody. And uh, according to me, uh, that's that's God. That's our faith in God that led us to to being safe. Wow. I mean, and also, also in, me and my wife were in the 
in a fortunate position that both of us have still got our jobs after after Corona. And I mean, I've seen so many people, so many friends of mine that's, that didn't, doesn't have that blessing. And unfortunately, I'm not saying that's not because they believe us. I'm just saying that that we are blessed in that in that way that we can say after six, my wife, after six months of hardly working, she still has a job. And that's just a blessing. Wow. You know, I, I love the way you are seeing Jesus Christ in everything. I, I love the way you are making him the real deal. I love the way you are just inspiring us with the story of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. You're just telling me that this guy is actually real and he's the no, he's Lord real. of a life. No, he's real. So you, he is real. He's real. Wow. So is Jesus Christ Western? What he did for you? Can he do it for somebody in maybe Western world or in, in, in a local world? Is Jesus Christ Western? Tell us about that. It's, Tell us it, all it's, the, the Christianity is for anybody. It's, it's not a Western thing. It's not an a African thing. It's, it's, if you truly need something to believe in and you pick up a Bible, you will mm-hmm. find something that will, that will reflect in your situation and, uh, and also in your country and your, your area of, of the world. It's not, not just Western people that believe in Christianity. I mean, like I said earlier, Rwanda is, is an African country and 93% of them are, are Christian. So, yeah, that is, that is, uh, it is the same for, for Western as for African uh, countries. Wow. Now, I'm going to a little bit switch a little bit. How are you able to deal with pain? Pain. Well, like, like, like any, any other, uh, other person, I think you, when you get into that situation, you, you sometimes forget about, forget about God. And uh, not in a, in a bad way. It's you, you try and sort it out yourself. And as soon as you try to do that uh, and, and you fail, that's happened a few times to me where I, uh, I try to think, do things myself and get over a situation in my life on my own and, and it, it didn't work. And as soon as you turn back to the Bible and to praying and to God, uh, that's where things uh, uh, start changing and you see the change happening. So uh, I've, I'm also only human, so I've, you try to do things yourself and uh, it doesn't work. And then as soon as you start picking up the Bible and you're looking at the verse that... Uh, that uh, relates to the situation that you're in, then you start thinking, hey, but I, I did it all wrong from the beginning and there's, there's a different way of doing it. And uh, as soon as you start praying and you put it at, at his feet, uh, then you can start seeing the results. You start seeing change and you start seeing uh, a difference. And that's, that's, that's powerful, man. Uh, that's truly powerful. Wow. How do you deal with... The, 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 how do you pray? How do you pray? Tell us about your prayer life. How do you yeah, pray? So, so in the morning before I start work, uh, my work is quite stressful, and I, I start my day off with a, a verse or a, a Bible study, about fifteen minutes of Bible study, and then I, I pray. I pray for all, all the people that work with me, for uh, the the country, uh, my family. Thanks for, uh, thank God for all, everything he's given us. And uh, yeah, and I pray for strength for the day and strength for my family. It, it's, it's tough. It's a tough, it was a tough time that we went through. And uh, I think in the, in the past five months, uh, my, my faith actually helped me a lot. Uh, it was stressful. It was, it was challenging. It, and I think the, the only reason why we still here is, is because of the faith and, and, I think the the fact that I prayed a lot in in this time actually helped a lot for especially for me and my family uh, to be where we are today and then yeah so um um every morning is a is a five five to ten minute prayer about just for strength and for for him just to to show us the way I, I think that's a, the main thing for me is just so that he can show us the way. Wow, thank you so much. You, you made a statement. You said you pray for all those who work with you. Yeah, definitely. Why do you do that? Why do you do that? Well, uh, 
we've we're a fairly big company, so decisions that we make it, it has an impact on a lot of people's lives, and uh, there's also some of the guys that work with me is all on the road as well. So for their safety and those type of things, uh, you need to pray for that, and he, he needs to hold all this hand over people that make big decisions as well. It impacts a, a few thousand people's lives, and and millions after that. So yeah, you need to. You need to have God in in that in that room as well when decisions gets made. Hmm. So how how do you deal with betrayal? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a tough one, eh? Uh, uh, obviously, I'm uh, um, like I said earlier, I'm I'm still human. So uh, if that happens, uh, it's difficult to trust somebody again. But you know what? And if you if you read the Bible, you say you need to forgive and. It's difficult as as a human to to sometimes forgive people, but you, you need to you need to in a, in going forward you need to uh, forgive and and at the end forget. I mean you can't hold it against per, a person for the rest of his life, but you as a human you tend to have that you fall back on it. But uh, you just need to pray. I mean you need to pray and you need to go back to the Bible where it says you need to forgive. You must turn the other cheek, and unfortunately, if if you get betrayed, you, the Bible teaches us that you need to forgive, and 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 that's what what I do. Unfortunately, yeah, sometimes fortune, sometimes unfortunate, but definitely, yeah, uh, you need to forgive. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. In terms of talents, treasure, and your time, would like you to say something about those three talents. So, Treasure so and time, talent, time. time, treasure, and talent. Yeah. I would need to hear your opinion about that. Why? Because it's leading me to somewhere. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> talents. I, I never really thought I had a lot of talents. Uh, I actually, uh, I thought I was going to be a sports, some or other sports star somewhere until reality struck, and I knew that I, that I didn't have that. But I think some of the, one thing that that one talent that I have is I can I can truly listen when somebody speaks and uh, I'm not I can not gonna say I'm, I've, uh, I can give the best advice but my, my talent is definitely listening and I think people there's some people that that likes to open up to me and and it just gives them the opportunity to sometimes vent and 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 I can guide them where I can but I'm not saying that I always know the answer I just tell them listen here if you need to get it off your chest come and and come sit by me and you can have the time you need and just uh, 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 get it off your chest and maybe that will make you feel better time uh, on a time side uh, a time is times are tough i mean uh, you don't the 24 hours in a day is is, is not enough these days work yeah. is demanding family is demanding and uh, time is time is tough that to have uh, a, like i can say it in me and my wife, we, we're both in the same industry, so sometimes we, we don't even see each other because of the only the amount of time you have in, in a day and the amount of work that needs to be done. So, yeah, you, you, but you need to make time for your family. You need to make time for your religion. <laughs> and and for me, it's, you need to try, make time to switch off as well. We, we try, me and my wife and my family try to switch off every now and then. And... Uh, just spend some time together and obviously all this also getting uh working on our christianity as well okay thank you so much that now leads me to this what advice do you have for young people concerning the name of jesus christ young people all over the world uh, for me young young people i think need somebody to believe in and something to believe in and uh, you, the only way that you can do that is 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 making time, reading your Bible, praying, uh, and also, luckily these days you you've got the whole world of technology. I mean, you can podcast, you can read any, you can listen to any podcast. If you don't want to, the 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 Bible's on podcasts as well, so you can read. You don't even have to read it anymore. You can listen to it. Um, so there's so many people, so many preachers in on, on podcasts that that we listen to, and and in the mornings when I don't have time, if time is crunched, I put it on my phone. Five ten minutes of somebody just reading a, a, out of the Bible or just sharing some information and those type of things. And I mean, uh, 
move back to to having god as the center of your life i think that is what that is something that is that is important uh, uh uh when you're young you you think you're invincible and i think we need to go back to having god as being almost invincible if you understand what, if if i understand the the term that i'm using so god is invincible but for me is it you mustn't uh, mustn't be based on all on yourself I think you must have mm-hmm. God as the center and I think that is where where things will start turning for you uh, and what I always say it's it's easy to preach if you don't need know the real hardships of 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 life and uh, yeah so I mean I've I've never had the situation where like in Africa where guys are people are sitting without jobs without food without running water so it's easy to preach uh, for me as a as a as a christian it's it's difficult for for guys to think in that scenario to to have something to believe in and uh, but i think it's 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 like organizations like yours is spreading that type of word and and also the work that you guys do in 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 africa i mean that is that's also crucial and uh, uh, i can just say thank you to you for for what you guys do and uh, it's you guys are a blessing as well oh thank you so much for I appreciate that. I appreciate it. So, what is Christianity to you, to you particularly? Christianity to me. Well, it's 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 a power. Uh, it, it's believing in a power that uh, it's stronger, wiser than me. I mean, it's I've 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 been in the scenarios where I try to do things on my own, and and you just know at the end you. you you don't get the desire the desired result and uh, then you when you start thinking about say why why am i trying to do it myself i mean uh why why do you know there's somebody somebody bigger somebody stronger why you try and do it yourself and that is where you start uh, going to the bible looking to verses that that's in your in your that speaks to your situation at the moment and that's where you actually start uh, saying hey but I could have done it this way and that's where your the wisdom comes from then and then you like ah this is actually so easy I just should have done this and this and this and it's all by just putting it and for me it's putting it at God's feet and saying this and yeah me uh, on my own I won't be able to do this and in everyday work life as well i mean this this you get chal- challenges at work and you're sitting in uh, challenging challenging situations and uh, you if you don't have that base to work from you you struggle it's it's not sustainable you can have successes now but it's not sustainable mm. thank you who are your mentors and in 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 my faith and in in my in business it it's definitely my my dad and my mom in my faith definitely i mean my 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 dad passed away a few months ago and for me uh, it's for me it my dad i think he he was also he was a a god of a, a son of god and and there's no no doubt in my mind that he's in heaven uh the way he lived his life was just man it was you can just see god in him and my mom as well she's my mom has been strong in the past 6 months and, uh, and i think it's it's all because of her faith and i must say i, I struggled at the at, at the stage and uh, uh, just my mom's faith and my mom sending me a, a verse in the morning or just sends me a voice note with a prayer that was that that helped a lot and then uh, i was in, in in business my uncle i think it's he, he's a guy that is is achieved a lot and uh, it's all based on his christianity i mean they that guy can tell you verses in the bible that are and and he brings it back to his to his situations and uh he he works himself to the bone but but he still you know is 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 just a superhuman when it comes to to business and he, his faith and his ethics and he just speaks christianity and that is that is Uh, that is great and and those two those three people in my life has been they've been a really a rock in my life wow thank you so much those three people have been a rock in your life i i i love the way you ended that part awesome fantastic mm. so if i'm going to ask you what advice would you give to the government concerning the name of jesus christ all over the world 
Well, well, government, and for me, this is this is something that I have discussed with my, actually with my mom, regularly my mom and my dad, both teachers. So uh, we need to go back to to recognizing firstly the Christianity in 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 the in our country, especially uh, for me as well in 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 South Africa, and then also bringing it back to the schools. I mean. That has been when I was in school. Your first fifteen minutes was almost like Bible study, and uh, you and that is that is crucial for me. I, I mean, uh, it's, it's it's not everybody has the the luxury of of a Bible and 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 having a, a household like where I come from, where Christianity was the, the center point. So, from a, from a government point of view, I think that also needs to be driven, and I. Uh, I'm, I feel strongly about having Christianity back in, in, in schools as well. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are gradually coming. Wow, we spent 25 minutes just now. Now, yes. the seven influences that we have, we have economy, we have education, we have media, we have church, we have government, we have arts and sports, and we have businesses and commerce. So if I may ask you, you understand, how do you think um, we can proclaim or herald more the name of Jesus Christ in these influences? If we're going to take it one after the other, provided you've answered the one of education, which is by bringing God back into the school. What about the media? What about, provided you've answered the one of the governments too. Now, let's talk about business, arts and sports, media, economy, and even church itself. How do you think we can arouse the name of Jesus Christ more in those, in these beautiful influences? We'd like to know more. Uh, yeah, well, well, when I go to media, media current. If you if you look at, uh, I don't I don't read any sort of news or listen to news anymore because it's it's all negative. There's no you don't see anything. You don't hear anything positive these days, and 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 I think that's there's something that we need to change. I, there's so much happening in the world, so much positive also happening in the world, but you don't really see that. The the negative thing, on, even on social media, that negativity, I mean, as soon as something negative happens, it gets shared all over the world. But as soon as, soon as something good happens, I see it a lot of times when you actually do, when you go on social media where they say, share if you're a Christian, and, or it always says, I, I uh, not a hundred people will share this to say that they're Christian or something like that, uh, something that line, but there would be something negative and everybody will jump on the bandwagon to, to share. So that's, that's there we need to definitely start seeing more positive things happening. Uh, I'm, I'm, I do believe in that. Um, in business, I think uh, when, you, when, you, when you look at business, sometimes business can be can be tricky and sometimes there's a lot of unethical things also happening and uh, I think when you don't have that that, that base of, of sometimes with Christianity if you don't have that and you don't have the strong belief system I think those things can can overpower you and uh, I think uh, that's something that, that I try to to live in my live every day I mean you need to see I don't need I don't want to tell you that I'm a Christian but you need to see it when you deal with me and when we do business together, you need to see that that, that is my, 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 uh, the base that I'm working from. Um, you must see it in my ethics and my way of dealing with you. You need to see that I'm a Christian. And uh, I think that's something we need in business uh, and also in the government. Uh, you need to see so sometimes so, so, uh, so much negativity and so much negative things happening. And, and that is, you can see that is unfortunately, you can see this. There's a, a a missing link there, if I can call it that. And obviously, when you go back and you go dissect it, you can see the missing link is actually your belief system. Wow! Thank you so much. The missing link in your belief system—that is awesome. How is politics in your country? How do you rate a... politics in your politic country? <laughs> Ah, you don't. You shouldn't ask me that question. Um, I'm not. A, I'm. Uh, I'm trying to stay out of politics. Uh, okay. 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 Don't a, let, let, yeah. 
yeah I'm not don't let us go into politician. that but what yeah. what advice would you have for christians in politics well i i, I definitely think uh, the one thing is is actually you must you must live it you must live it and people must actually see when they deal with you and that's a big thing for me is you it you mustn't just it mustn't just be like lip service mm. it should be it should be seen every day and people must know when they deal with you this is the way that you're going to deal with them and and i think that is that is crucial um and i think also the the christians in in government must must also pray for for their colleagues i think they need that as well wow thank you so much mr pervan today has been wonderful for us we spent 30 minutes and we have to keep to our word that it yeah. won't pass this so your final word for us today yeah for for all this is from my side is obviously thanks for for uh, the, for this opportunity i think i was very nervous at the beginning but actually yesterday i i enjoyed it i enjoyed opening up about about my religion and and the way uh I love my life and I, I must also thank you for what you do. I mean before uh, a week ago I didn't know what you what that you even that you even alive and uh, I went to your website and I I listened to a few videos there and I read a bit about your business about what you guys do and uh, thank you for that. I mean you have changed wow. a lot of lives you and your colleagues there that I've met on Friday. Uh, I don't know where they are today but uh Yeah, thank you for the work that you guys are doing. It's 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 you guys are really a blessing. And uh oh. you are the Africa needs more more of you guys. Really thank you for what you guys are doing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Also we'll bring you back again to to hear more from you and to to learn more from you. Wow, we we'll still have to bring you back again. Thank 100%. you so much. And thank you so much. Thank so, you very much. It, it, you're welcome. We close with this. Wildlife around in the name of Jesus Christ. That's how we close. We'd like you to echo that, please. Sorry man, I I, I couldn't hear that like it. Wildlife around uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Wildlife around in the name of Jesus Christ. That's how we close. There's the, I, I I just couldn't hear that one word as wild wildlife wildlife the next, the next one is eraldin 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 the name eraldin the name of the, jesus christ horizon in wildlife, the name of jesus christ there we go eraldin the name of jesus there we go eraldin the name of jesus christ there we go thanks for the help there at the bottom <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. I appreciate. So I'm going yeah. to chat to you off to discuss more with you. Thank you. All right. Cheers man. Bye-bye. Bye. Cheers, bye.